This video will be going over terminology and explanation of a mesh network. The typical setup for Wi-Fi networks are an access point client relationship. An access point broadcasts the network, a client connects to that access point to connect to the network. In some cases, a access point infrastructure is not available to an industrial user, or the group that is maintaining that infrastructure doesn't want an industrial application on that network. In that case, other modes of operation can be used to allow industrial devices to connect to each other. Uh, one mode of operation is mesh. Um, what mesh allows you to do is it allows every wireless node to talk to each other. No longer does each node have to connect to a central access point. Uh, one node can talk to another node, which can relay information to another node. So what that allows you to do is to create a semi-private network where all the nodes can pass data back and forth to each other. Again, this removes the need for a central point like an access point in the ceiling that may be maintained by another group that's outside of, of your group. When this mesh network is created, all the nodes pass data back and forth to each other, telling them, hey, I have this connection to this node, the signal strength is this, I have this many paths, um, and that way data can be routed accordingly um, where it's needed. If a route were to break, um, those nodes now know who their neighbor is and where another alternate path is available. So that data can now be um, diverted to another good path. With mesh networks is typically a, a proprietary protocol. Um, that meaning that if you use a mesh function with Phoenix contact devices, you can't just join another third party device into that mesh. So it adds a layer of security that's not there with the typical access point client connection. So when you're having all your devices connected, we'd have a private network, even though the network is visible, a third party device would not be able to be connected to it. You can also, in our device, add a virtual access point so that if you had a mobile device like a tablet or a laptop or a phone that needed to access data on that mesh network, you can enable a virtual access point on the mesh node, which will allow that third party device to have access to, to the mesh network. These access points don't have to be on every node. Once you gain access on that virtual access point, you can access any device in that mesh network. So your mesh network is now a private, secure network passing your application data back and forth. And when it's needed, you can enable that virtual access point to allow mobile access to that mesh network.